Let's check this version out here. Cool. Yeah, I was reading your mail here. Um, we're asking if that was too fast and there's too much. I kind of agree. I think if you're going for, you know, the compression and deformation and everything, it's going to be hard to see because there's so much going on. The thing is, I mean, you can. I think it's not bad. You know, that she's moving around and all that stuff. I think that's okay. But at the same time, it could also be fun to just be more focused where you have all that movement, right? All of this. Then she pulls her over there, maybe just not as fast. But then you have a nice view of the compression, pushing up on the cheek, kind of squishing that eye. And by doing all that, it have some minimal movement, right? Where this line will go up here and maybe, you know, from here. Or sorry, from here to here, just a little bit of movement, and they play it all in the shapes and compression. We could focus on her where she looks like this, where she focuses on the TV and then almost looks at us. She's almost kind of looking, you know, slightly past the camera. I'm not sure if that <laughs> reads. It's like, what is she doing? You know, that could be a cool moment. And it's all showing the almost the escalation of that right where she's doing this and then does that and goes wait what is she doing and then looks almost at us and then by now imagine she doesn't go as far down right but more like maybe like this you could see a frown starting to happen it's like what is she doing and then when she brings her down just for a moment the eyebrows open up her eyes widen where she's getting really shocked like what is going on and then all of this happens that's kind of that's kind of what I would do just because she's pretty subtle at this point and this could be her moment this could be her acting moment where it can showcase her stuff but let's go back shot you got a bit of a drifty shoulder there Whoop, starts to kind of drift up This is a bit fast. That move from here to here is a bit fast and careful your as you go down like this, it's a bit of a an IK uh, hand there because I can buy this even though here it's already a bit too angled. You might as well bring that that wrist towards us you know, from here. But once you do this, you have a pretty broken wrist, and every time you have an elbow and arm moving with the orientation of a rotation of that wrist being the same that's going to be your IK flag it's going to look weird this goes back in a straight line that will put that little slight arc rotate that hand over you can spread the fingers a bit because she's putting pressure on this hands to, to push herself up same thing here um, carefully you gotta ease out of that that's a bit of a linear linear key and you're going pretty straight up so watch your arcs and then as you do this, you can probably rotate that chest over just a bit more so it doesn't feel so isolated body mechanics wise. That's cool, I like this. <laughs> it's maybe a bit high frequency on that shoulder, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> it cracks me up. Definitely as she moves over here, she's going to put more pressure on this. So a bit of sinking into the mattress and spreading of the fingers. And then a bit more involvement in the shoulder as it pushes up in a way. That's a bit fast. That's not the bad one. You know, I think his her legs, I can kind of buy this, that being fast. But then you got the same problem with the broken wrist, having that angle there. So bring that fist down. And then when you compress, it can be around like this. But when you go with this elbow to here, you still need to have some sort of change in the orientation. So that will go over here. And then this will help you to actually, instead of like this, it will be angled, you know, instead of that, a bit more like that. Not that it's fully straight in a line. You can have a little bit of a, of a bend, maybe like that. But that way you have, you have somewhere to go. Because again, any type of elbow movement and that doesn't change the orientation of the wrist gives it an IK arm feel. 
and you got the same thing on the other wrists. So this is too broken there. You can help this by lowering the elbow, which will also help you with the silhouette. Because right now the bend is right, is away, straight away from the camera, so we don't really see the bend. If you do a squint test or a silhouette test, it looks like a short arm. So, but if you bring this down, my scribbles here. If you bring this down, it would align a bit better with the wrist. I would bring that thumb a bit lower for nicer silhouette, so it's not so flat. This is nice there. We can see some movement in the wrist there. That's cool. I will make sure that this doesn't swim around. There's all the com all the pressures are on those wrists. It's on those arms and on those wrists, right? So um, there's so much weight on this that they wouldn't really move. They would go down. A squishy mattress. And watch out. If you track this, it goes up, up, and then down. So you got your one frame direction change and no arc there. So I'll give this a couple more frames, those legs. Just a bit. Careful when you have. I know she's doing stuff here and it's gonna screw you over with this arm, but when she moves her head, a little bit of chest movement and side rotation, just so it doesn't feel like there is this break. It's just the head moving. It feels so isolated. And you could probably cheat the pupils at this point in so we don't lose them as much. You could also probably uh, careful with this rig. This rig usually has those lids rotated like that. I would flatten them out and be a bit more anatomically correct. This gives it a weird, you know, angry eyelid, um, eyebrow shape. And it can probably not go as low with the head, only to reduce the distance. There's so much movement down here with the head that if you play this in real time, that makes it very fast and the spacing is also a bit off where you can track this line, right? It goes down, goes down, goes down, and then, whoa, it's kind of on the same same height here, visually, in 2D space, and then suddenly pops back down. So that little pause over two frames gives it that little boop, little hiccup there, right there. And it can probably just ease into this a bit more so, so, so. and I think that's okay so you you get to this point maybe two three frames later and then she get when she goes so, so, so. and I can overshoot almost like you get into this a couple frames later and then there's less of a pause and you can go straight down into this so it's more like an overshoot and then back into that To broken wrists here, just watch out. I would just flatten that, bring that a bit more aligned with the forearm, and then you can bring it over here as well. So it's not so broken through here. Same thing, you want to uh, put some weight on these guys so they don't move around. You do mention those jiggles in the email, so for sure, watch out those knees. Now, with all the times when I said slow it down, this feels slow and even. So that head turn, there's something about so, so much where I would... I might not go as low again with the head so you don't cover those pupils as much. I like that she keeps staring. You can probably just go one more frame. Again, watch out your eyelids. And don't. Then you can start your pupils to go this way so they're not so cornered here. But I think you can hold at least one or two more frames before the head turn and then snap that over just a bit more. Tricky thing, I would give it a shot and put those pupils cheated a bit more towards us, but make sure the eye line's there. Same for her, she looks kinda up here. So hard. You got some jiggly elbows as well, watch out for that. So hard. And then as you continue some compression and more contour work, meaning like the fingers go around the cheeks. Not that you have to do full compression and cheek deformation, but at least a bit more um, clean contact. Unless you're going for like, ah, she, she doesn't really want to touch that, but then I would probably take that pinky and bring it out as well. You could still potentially... Then I would do more of a slight curvature in the fingers and not have that break of 
wrist and finger like this. It's a bit of a sharp angle there. Because it does feel like she's kind of touching her cheeks though. So maybe, I would, it's up to you if you want to round those fingers and make sure they contact and fold those cheeks. <laughs> it's a crack here. Watch out when you have all that, um, what's it called? Knee, my English escapes me. The knee movement, uh, same thing with the wrist, same thing goes for the, uh, the feet. You can see how there's all that knee movement, but then the foot's not moving, so it gives you that broken IK look. And then as you continue on, all that hip movement and everything is gonna influence the, le the feet a little bit. Same thing here, you don't want those stuck IK feet. Moving it and it's in this hand. It must be in this hand then, huh? So this goes down here and then it kind of flutters over. Chat, I like that you're bending the arm. This was always a bit too straight, but you have a little bit of a pop here. I would just start bending that sooner. But then, uh, I would go a bit, you know, as you bend, where is it here? Like, that's okay. You can have that. And I wonder if you want to get away from this and it could almost, I don't know if it's too much, you can try where the fingers start having a bit more of a pained, um, you know, a pained silhouette. This is a bit more like, farewell, I'm out of here. Ooh, same thing here, watch out. If your orientation of the wrist is like this, that rotation, and then you go up and it's in the same, that's your IK arm again. So this orientation changes, but this doesn't, so you go from here. That's the same, watch out for that. When you mentioned some splitting there, yeah, watch out, so it's not so hiccupy. And I think for her, she could have almost a bigger boom, little hit, boom. So it's not such a soft collapse. And that could be cute with, if you hit this a bit harder, there's a bit more uh, head drag, and those would be up here, boom, and then on that compression, the head could collapse. And then she would land, you know, like, boom, boom, and on that second one, she would then collapse into this pose. That could be kind of cute, except there's so that, just that drop. But it might conflict with this. So maybe just make this less hiccupy where, you know, if we follow this line again, the head goes down, pauses, and then suddenly has that linear, bam, that sudden move. Maybe if that's smoothed out, with a bit more compression and impact in the head on this, it might just be enough, and that we don't distract from this. But I don't think about it. Maybe it could be a little bit of a bounce. See how it works. Watch out, I can feet as you continue on. They're not, they're not so locked. And when for her, I like that she has that head move up when she starts. That, uh, but I would just exaggerate that push out in the chest and a bit more in the head because it's such an a vocal outcry, and so much energy in the lungs that it feels a bit soft uh, in the body. Like the audio is not quite connected there. And then that drop is a bit fast, and that stuff moving over is very fast and jittery. And watch out, you got some broken foot here, knee only movement. But if you watch this in real time, it's a bit jittery and fast. Yeah. Slow that down like 20%. Because there's some moments that are, you know, they're not super cartoony and fast. So I'm just looking for consistency. And I kind of like how you have stuff going on here, especially through all of this. So then to suddenly have that happening is a bit, a bit of a style break there. And then watch out how much those knees are turning. But then this section is not really affected by that massive twist. So I want to make sure it, does, it doesn't feel so separated and broken through there. Alright, that's kind of it. Thank you. Alright, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright, thank you.